YouTube, what's going on? Kyle again from Pool Supply. Today we are back with some more quick fixes on Pentair's Creepy Crawly Dorado Suction Side Pool Cleaner meant for above ground pools. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back. So again, today we're gonna do some quick fix videos on Pentair's Creepy Crawly Dorado Suction Side Pool Cleaner. Um, today we're actually going to show you guys how to get access to the cam on the internal gears of this cleaner. So if you guys want to know how to remove and get down into the internals, make sure you guys check out the link in the description. We got a playlist where we actually tear this cleaner um, apart from the outside in. Uh, for today's video, I've actually already removed the screw, so I'm just going to go ahead and lift up the internal workings of the cleaner. We're going to go ahead and slide off the brush ring in the top shroud for you guys. I'm gonna remove the oscillator chamber cap here for you guys. And now you guys see the entire internal workings of this cleaner. So the cam is actually this three-armed uh, gear that's over here on, this is my left, so it's your guys' right. Uh, this cam is what will actually help change the direction of the cleaner. So as the cleaner is getting um, suction provided to it and this oscillator is ticking back and forth, back and forth, um, eventually this cam slowly turns and it will actually turn the direction of the cleaner. So there is no actual mechanism or specific way that the cleaner runs. It's all randomized. It, it merely runs to a certain point until it tells it to turn and then it's gonna run. So it may um, leave some lines on the, on the pool floor and then on its next go around may go a completely different direction for you guys. So don't expect it to actually make a full circle around the pool and get every nook and cranny in its first run. It does take multiple runs for this cleaner to efficiently clean the entire pool. So to get access to this cam, they do only sell a three-legged cam. Um, I, I haven't heard of any other cam that works with this specific cleaner that will um, allow a different run time. Specifically with diving pools, you're looking for like something like what they would call a long run cam because you're going so far down in the deep end, you want it to run a certain amount of time before it just turns back around and tries to crawl back up into the shallow end. Um, so depending on the size of your pool, you guys want to definitely check out and make sure that this cleaner will work properly for the size of your pool. But for most standard diving um, suction side pools, this cleaner works great. So. Um, if you guys want to know how to remove the entire part, make sure again you guys check out the link in the description. We've actually show you guys how to get access to these axle blocks here. Um, but for today's video, as you guys can see, just slides right up. So these axle blocks actually come out really simple, slide off the side, and then here you have access to your cam. So as you guys can see, it's got an A, B, and C. C being the longest run, as you can tell, between the spacing of the actual cams here. So what this does is as it's turning, when it hits a certain point, it actually makes the cleaner turn a different direction. So as you can see, there's different time frames between each run, so then that way it has an opportunity to go down a certain direction before it changes directions and, and heads back a, a different way to turn again. So this is a very crucial part to the cleaner. It is also one of the most worn parts of the cleaner because of this gear set constantly rubbing and then as well as these teeth constantly hitting part of the frame. Um, so you do need to replace these about every two, maybe three seasons, depending on the usage. Uh, if you're using it year round, I would say more around two, but if you're using it kind of, you know, halfway through the year, three quarters of the way through the year, um, you would only need to replace this about every three, maybe four years. The biggest thing you're looking for is making sure that these teeth on the gears are still making connections, as well as the teeth on the cams aren't completely worn down, otherwise it won't actually transition effectively. So, once you guys remove the old one, it's really simple. You just slide on your new one, and it doesn't really matter which way you want to start it. Uh, in this case, the, the C-Run tend tends to always fall at the bottom as it's a heavier piece of plastic. You go ahead and reinstall your axle blocks and then very strategically and gently you go ahead and just slide this back onto the cleaner. You gotta line everything back up where it needs to be. These gears specifically need to land um, right in between each other. Make sure that this cam doesn't get held up on the actual um, plastics of the frame. 
I lost an axle block on this side. It's okay, it's easy enough to lift up, put it down. So once you guys have actually removed it and reinstalled it, go ahead, put everything back together and get this thing back into the pool so it can start to do its job for you. Uh, again, I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. We got more videos on this cleaner as well as every other cleaner that's available right now on the market from all the major manufacturers. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Subscribe today if you haven't subscribed. Check out the links below and we got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you.